Hi everyone, I'm Brad Wood and I'm a business consultant and Atlassian certified professional with Valiantis, a platinum solutions partner of Atlassian. And in today's video, we're gonna review the new action items feature in JIRA. We'll look at how this feature is used and we'll discuss some use cases. So with that, let's jump into the tool. All right, so Atlassian has recently added the ability to add action items within an issue in JIRA. These function like a checklist or check boxes and can be added to any paragraph style field in JIRA, such as the description field, a custom field, or even within a comment. So as an example, we'll look at this story, which I'm using to track my work on this video, and we'll click into the description field. And you'll notice here there's a new checkbox icon. I can click this to start adding action items, or I can use my brackets as a hotkey to create an action item. So I'll click here and I'll add a few action items. So we'll say write script, record video, edit video, and publish video. And now I've got a checklist of all the work that I need to do on this specific um, issue in JIRA. We can also at mention users on our um, action items to associate them with that piece of work. So I can at mention myself and now I'm associated or quote unquote assigned to that particular action item. And I'll just click save. And now I've got my to-do list for this um, action items video story. And to complete an item, you simply just click within the checkbox. Um, when you do at mention somebody on an action item, they will get a notification when they're uh, initially mentioned or tagged. And they'll also receive a notification when that action item is complete. So adding action items is very intuitive. It's very simple and it can be um, useful in a variety of different use cases. So let's look at another example here. We'll click into this other story. And let's say you have a given issue that has several smaller pieces of work that need to be completed on it and need to be completed by different users. Um, traditionally, you might use child issues or subtasks, but maybe you'd rather not do that and you'd rather have just a simple checklist to work from. So you don't have to create all those child issues. You can use action items instead. And you can see we've done that here. We've tagged different users on the different um, action items that need to be completed. Um, I mentioned the comment field um, earlier. You can see here I've added an action item to the comment field here and tagged a user to uh, remind them to do something. And when that is complete, that users can uh, simply come in here and click this checkbox to um, mark this as done. Let's look at another example in a JIRA service management project. So let's say you're using JSM as your ESM solution and you've got your um, HR team working in JIRA service management. Um, and let's say I've got this issue assigned to me and I wanna create a list of action items for the various steps that need to be completed before I can resolve this issue. Um, and maybe I don't wanna create a bunch of different subtasks to um, assigned to myself, since I'm going to be doing all of this work, I can simply use a checklist. So we can see here in the description field, I've added another list of action items. And these are all the steps that I need to complete before this employee onboarding um, ticket can be resolved. And action items can be a great way to keep track of all of those steps in this type of um, HR scenario. And we'll look at one more example on a JIRA software ticket. Um, we can use our action items, like I mentioned earlier, in a custom field. So we've got a custom field set up here, acceptance criteria, and all of these specific criteria uh, for this story are listed as action items. And those action items can be checked off once all of that criteria has been met. So that was just a quick look at the new action items feature in JIRA. I hope you found this video informative, and if you have any questions on this topic or anything else Atlassian related, please feel free to reach out to me via email or LinkedIn, uh, both of which will be included in the description box below. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.